Hello, Jesse Good here, and these are all packages mostly filled with Lego. Now, <laughs> there's over 40 packages here. This is a lot, and I've accumulated them all throughout quarantine. But without further ado, let's get into this. All right, so for our first package, let's see what's inside. Most of these are from eBay. Okay, so our first set is the Barrel Escape. Now, this is one I already own. But I got this again because I saw this for like 30 bucks. And honestly, it's one of my favorite Hobbit sets. It's just such a weird and random set that for $40 back in the day, I thought it was a good deal. And I never got around to reviewing it. It's been in pieces since. So since I found this at such a cheap price, I'm probably gonna end up reviewing this copy. Package number two. I totally destroyed this one, but it looks to be a Ninjago set. And this was another one that I got for around $30, which was a fantastic deal, because this set usually goes for a hefty, I don't know, 50 to 80. So I saw this for like a few seconds and I was like, mm, I could best offer it for even lower or I could wait with that best offer and it could disappear. So I just decided to get it for that $30 price tag. Still a fantastic deal since this is one of the rarer, cheaper old Lego Ninjago sets from 2011. And hey, it's a blacksmith shop, so maybe I can compare it to the old one and the ideas one. Next package. Oh no. <laughs> I just totally ripped this one. Oh no. Oh, poor poly bag, but this is the mini frame for dots. And I just cut straight into the cover there. No, but it's not a big deal. Uh, this was available as a shop at home promo, but I didn't have any DOS sets I wanted to buy. I like this little poly bag, so I just ended up getting it separately for like five bucks on eBay. All right, next box. Let's see what's inside. All right. This set is a Lego sports set. Oh, I remember this one. Uh, this is a 2006 Lego sports set. And interestingly enough, I think this was like one on eBay and <laughs> I bought one and then they relisted it for a higher price. So it's just like, if somebody buys one, he, re, you know, you, you get that listing and the price just keeps going up. But this was interesting to me because there were so little sports sets in 2006. This even has a different logo from the other ones, if I'm not mistaken. And there was like, I don't know, three to four sports sets. So this was one of the last ones. and. Just kind of curious what this one is all about, but that will be interesting to review. All right, next package. Yeah. This is Creative Ambush. Now this is a Lego movie set I always saw on the shelves at Target. Never bought it, but I kind of like that kebab design and I like some of the minifigures in here. I found this on eBay for 30 bucks, which is below retail. I mean, retail is $40, or it was $40 at Target. So it was kind of a steal that I just couldn't pass on. When I see action themes and stuff like that, with minifigures I don't have, and they're cheap, like 30 bucks, I gotta get the set. So the next package is not a Dell laptop, it's just packaged in a Dell laptop case. Oh shoot, this just came in because I, wow, I ordered that like two days ago, but <laughs> oh, yeah, this, I have a very exciting set actually. Yeah, this has a steal on the other day. Yeah. <laughs> if I knew this was in that box, I would have done a separate video on it, but I wasn't expecting this to come so soon. Felt like I just ordered this a few days ago. Either way, I paid only like 110 or 120 for this, which is extremely low, sealed and in this good of condition usually goes for, I don't know, 200, 250. Oh man, I, I, I've always wanted this set, but even when I saw it on the shelf of Target back in the day, I just couldn't bring myself to buy it. And I'm so glad I finally have it in my hands. Pretty good box condition too, with just a little stuff right there, a bend up here. I'm not sure about the back, but uh, it's like another stretch right there. Other than that though, uh, fantastic price for the condition and for this set. I, mean, I don't want to scratch that front. This is one of the best sets in the haul so far. All right, next box. Oh, okay. So this was, uh... what's that? Oh, okay. <laughs> this was pretty good. Uh, this is a Lego Indiana Jones set of all things. And this is the Shanghai case. All loose bags, but the instructions are included too. I'm sure they're all in there. Oh yeah, you can see the instructions. 
peeking out right there. But uh, that'll be fun to review. Sometimes I find deals like this where there's no box included, but as long as the pieces are sealed, fine by me. Changing locations for a couple of minutes is an Alien Conquest set. I think I paid less than $10 for this, if not $10 at most. Never owned this set, but I own these minifigures from the one Alien Conquest Battle Pack, which is really, I think, the only <laughs> Alien Conquest set I own besides the poly bags. Ooh, I gotta get more Alien Conquest, huh? All right, next box. Oh, it's a Fabuland. I, I didn't even notice that, but <laughs> just from the bottom, I could tell that Fabuland packaging. I gotta be more careful. And this is just one I didn't own before. I like that piece right here. I have been trying to get more and more Fabuland, but they're so expensive. And then the ones that are listed that aren't so expensive are ones I own. Next package. It's Cheerios. No, <laughs> let's see what it really is. Oh, this is from a long time ago because, uh, oh yeah, I think I ordered this before Lego Dots came out. Now, I'm gonna get way after Lego Dots came out. It's a Dots random pack, and also one of the Lego Dots sets I was missing. So I specifically planned around not getting the other sets because this set was coming in the mail. So it finally came, yay. All right, next box. Dang, I feel like the saturation on this clip is very high, but I'm already halfway through opening the box. Not really, more like <laughs> one third of the way through. This is the best way to open up a box, just hanging it like that. Inside, ooh. This is one that's just straight from my childhood. And you're probably gonna see a lot of that, just stuff that is nostalgic or meaningful to me that maybe I didn't own before or that I owned before that I have in pieces. And that's what this purchase is. This is a set I remember getting for my birthday around 2003. And it's a super nostalgic to me, but I was like, hey, you know, I want to review it because I don't have it all together. So let me buy a new copy. And this one is super cheap. It's less than like 20 to 30 bucks on eBay. So if you want to get it too, just go on eBay and search it up. All right. Next small package. It's all wrapped up. Oh, look. Small little Lego land set. Usually when they have the Legoland banners, it means there's, they are from the 80s. So let's see, this one was from 85. And it cost me, I think, around 30 bucks. Pretty cheap for a set from 85 like this. It even has the older style helmet in white. Next package. I said, this has, oh, that was not a good one to smash on the ground, but I think this was already smashed before. I paid less for this, I believe, because it was dented and everything. I don't remember, because it was some time ago. But this is one of the main Blacksmith Lego sets. Yeah, one that I reviewed, which was the fan set. I think that's more elaborate than this one. But still, I always wanted this set. It skyrocketed in price very early on, like around 2012. It was already like 30 to 40. I ended up paying about 30 to 40-ish for this right now, which usually goes for 50 now in good condition. So. Pretty good deal, but uh, this is gonna be fun to open up and review. I love Lego Kingdoms, but gosh darn, it's so expensive to get nowadays. All right, next one. Oh gosh, not these. These annoy the heck out of me, because if you don't open them properly, fiberglass is gonna go everywhere, and I hope I did not scratch that. Oh shoot, this one, okay. That stuff is gonna go everywhere, so let me carefully remove this. So this is one of my best small set finds because I ended up only paying $21 for this seal. It was one of those split second listings, baby. It usually goes for $30 when it was released, but now you can find it for upwards of 60, even though we do have a bigger and better version on the market right now. Last time I, I did review this, but it was my ex's. So now I own my own copy, hey but uh, I'll probably keep this sealed for quite a while. Next box I opened, but I was like, shoot, it wasn't recording. I did not see what's inside though, so let's slide it out. And, oh, this is a $20 2012 Dino Tyranodon Tower Takedown. Dino sets from this specific theme are extremely expensive, but this is one on the cheaper side. Kind of regret, I think I paid for like 40 for this, which in the box condition, looking at the pictures I saw later on that this was opened, 
Uh, so I hope everything's in here. Stump it out. Looks like it. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, yeah, everything looks like it. So I came out pretty good, I guess. Uh, not the best price for it, but not the worst. All right, next package. Okay, let's see. See that old Lego logo and that gets me excited. I, if this is a four, okay, yeah. This is probably the best deal in here. Almost made this one a separate video, but I'm like, I got cool on the separate videos because I have like some recorded that I haven't released yet. But uh, I want to get this open so badly, sorry. So I paid, I think, 150 or less. I think it was around 130 actually, in a bidding war for this one. With all the back sealed and everything, I mean, that's a fantastic deal. The box is in such fantastic condition. I just want to display the box on its own. This, though, I think I'm going to display next to the blacksmith shop that uh, was the fan set, because these have a very similar aesthetic, and my gosh, my Lego Castle classic display is growing. Uh -huh. So this is a set that I opened thinking it was another set, which was probably like a minifigure packet or something like that. Still trying to do that every minifigure pack opening, and I was about to put it up last weekend. And then I recognized, hey, I am missing Series 7. <laughs> but either way, you can kind of see what theme that is from. I just don't want to damage it because I think this is a really rare set. And... <laughs> this is the gold football player which is from the 2002, right? 2002 World Cup. Now these World Cup poly bags, I've been kind of collecting recently. I got that other one with the regular Coke jacket. And little did I know at the time of buying that and at the time of buying this, there was a listing of two special Coke jackets. So this is the gold one. I paid about 30 bucks for this alone. And I saw a listing with the gold and the silver one for 50 bucks. Then if you want to get the silver one alone, it was 40 bucks. I was like, shoot, I should have just bought that other listing. So I ended up getting that other listing. So now I have two gold ones, but I think that one's coming from like a faraway country. So that won't be for a couple holes. Either way, this intrigued me because I didn't know there was rare special figures. This seems to have a gold that's uh, similar to the old C-3PO's if you guys have those figures. But it's a very strange gold that you don't see often nowadays. Either way, we'll take a look at this probably in a very short review coming up soon, so stay tuned. All right, next pack. I say next pack, like this is a Lego minifigure opening. What is this? All right. Let's see. Oh, this is a Lego Alpha Team set I didn't previously own. Now, I think I got this specifically because not only was it like south of 20 bucks, this character, I don't think I own any copies of, but I might be wrong about that. She wasn't in the $20 set, right? Next box, sorry, I keep cutting, and it just takes forever to cut, but here, as awkward as the box positioning might be now, this is a Star Wars, the Old Republic Battle Pack I've wanted for so long, and I don't know why I waited so long to get this. Could have got it cheaper if I didn't wait, because I ended up paying like 30 bucks for this, but I'm like, I wait, it's gonna be 50 bucks, and then it's gonna be 70, and then it's gonna be a 90, and you know, so it's just like, let me just get it now. But I used to see this for about 20, and I almost pounced on it back then. I really like the old Republic uh, kind of styling and everything, so I, I just kind of don't know why I skipped on this back in the day, because I did get the bigger old Republic set, but I think I got that on sale somewhere. But that's it for this small battle pack. This one says, do not bend. Let's see. Oh. I forgot I got this, but this is a poly bag I think I ordered back in 2016 when I was going on my first eBay tirades or whatever you want to call them. Now, I don't think I ever got it in the mail. Like, I remember ordering it, but I don't think I ever got it in the mail. It must have been lost. So I saw this remarkably cheap, I think cheaper than it was in 2016. For some reason, or it might have been because there was like a Junior's Lex Luthor with a similar outfit this figure just dropped in price. It used to be like 30, but now it goes for like 10. And I didn't know that, and I saw it for 10, and I'm like, oh, let me buy it. So now I actually have the figure. All right, next one. I had to switch knives, because that other one might be on the tip of breaking, but that's what we got. Inside this box is Destiny Shadow, which 
I believe was open before. You can see it's taped up and everything, but uh, uh, that gets me a little bit concerned. I hear it's so loose. Maybe I should just open it up right now. But this one I remember paying probably retail for like 30 bucks and it being open and everything was part of the reason why it was so cheap. But, well, it seems like the pieces are in there pretty well. It's just that one loose piece that's going in. So this is just another one that I wanted to add to the Ninjago collection since I'm getting into it. I just started the show, so we'll see where that takes me. All right, next box is actually a bigger one. It's just like, you know what? Let me do one of the bigger ones since uh, they're just kind of chilling over there. There's like a bunch of them and I don't want to load them all to the back of the video. But, oh, it seems to be an Ninjago set. And this is the Ninjago Battle Arena, which judging by the special edition kind of strip right here, must have been a Walmart exclusive or something like that. This set, I ended up getting for like 20 to 30 bucks. It was one of those split second listings once again. And uh, for a set that usually went for around 40 or 50, and it goes for probably 70 or 80 now, second hand sealed. I made out like a bandit. But uh, again, this is just another one to add to that growing Ninjago collection. This next box has this branding that says Coat or something on it. But, uh, oh no, did I just, oof, I actually probably just damaged that. Uh, this is, oh yep, there you go, shoot. Uh, this is the Silver Mine Shootout, which is just another one of those sets that I would always put off on getting that I really wanted. And the longer I wait, the more it's raised in price. I think I best offered this or something for like 80 bucks. It's a bit damaged, but that's what I have to compromise with to get it at a cheap price now. All right, next package. Yeah, I'm just packaging them straight as if this is the packaging. This is another fairly new set. Another one that I put off on getting and I always said I would get, but I never ended up getting, but I finally have it now. It's the Lego Batman movie, Harley Quinn Cannonball Attack. And this just has an interesting array of figures and I like this little side building thing. I always like that side building build. And I think I paid probably around 40 to 50 for this, which was like around retail, so it's not that big of a deal. Next package is another bigger one. Inside, it's like double priority now. Hmm. All right. Oh, it's actually another Hobbit set. This is. Oh no, it got super damaged in shipping uh, with that little corner there. That kind of sucks. But either way, it's the Dolgor Dolgoldor Battle, and this is a set that when it came out, I was kind of hesitant on getting, even if it is this eighty dollar play set. And it hasn't gone much up in price. I guess the hype just isn't there for the Hobbit movie stuff. So I ended up paying like, I don't know, 80 bucks for this, which is like retail. I really like the Radagast, the brown in this set, which is exclusive. And I think there is an exclusive Azog as well. So this is gonna be pretty interesting to build. And it's one that was missing from my Hobbit collection before. All right, next box. All right. And I'm trying to get more and more of these Lego Ninja sets because I have a keen eye for finding deals on them. This one I think I best offered for like around 50 bucks if I'm not mistaken. But this is interesting because it comes with two of the Red Ninja. And those are a little bit more uncommon in the line if I'm not mistaken. A little package right here. And inside, oh, it's a little Orient Expedition set. And this goes along with one of the ones earlier in the haul. And that is the Secret of the Tomb. This is the other one I got for my birthday in 2003 at Toys R Us, and I just really wanted to rebuild it. I remember loving this play feature when I was younger, especially. All right, next box, and this is a little bit of a beat up priority mailbox. On the inside though, there's, oh, funny enough, this actually goes along with the last set, or I guess the last set two packages ago. This almost got its own video as well, and this is Robber's Retreat. Another Lego Ninja set from 98 or 99. Oh shoot, does it actually have an open up flap? That's kind of awesome. Ah, oh, yo, look at that. That looks fantastic. And this is one that, man, it's gonna be hard not to keep sealed because I really love the box in this. This was actually a fantastic 
uh, bidding war. I think I won for like, I don't know, 130, 120 for this set. I don't see this set cheap too often, and I love the build in here to get the box in pristine condition too. I made out like a bandit. Next, we have a sizable Lego box, but this isn't straight from Lego themselves, so let's see what's inside. This is Queen Whatever's Not So Evil Space Palace, or So Not Evil Space Palace. This usually goes for $100, or it used to go for $100, but you can find it fairly cheap just about anywhere you see it, so if you see it in stores, definitely ring it up. But I made a goal to myself and I said I will not buy this set unless I could get it for less than half off. I think I ended up paying $42 for this at most, so hey, made out like a bandit, and it's a set I didn't want, I just didn't want to pay full price for it, and I'm glad I have it now. Next package, and this one I, I think I actually opened a couple months ago, but I don't even remember. What, what could this be? Oh, okay, huh. Oh yeah, I did order this. Must have been insanely cheap then. <laughs> I think I, I saw it for, I don't know, probably $5 or something. I do remember getting a magnet set this haul, but I don't remember which one I ended up getting. It might have been just this one, because I, for some reason I'm thinking I, I got, which I want a really good deal. Maybe you'll see it in this haul, but either way, if it was this one, it was like five bucks, but I don't remember it being Harry Potter. Next package, this one, a little bit smaller. And set itself is, da, 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 da. dang, there's a lot of sets in here that I've owned before, but this is a set I owned back in the day, Dol Dol Goldor Ambush. Of course, I'm getting it now because I want to add this to the set I just got, the big Dol Goldor set. So I didn't have it all built up or anything anymore. So this was just something I need to buy cheap and it was like 30 bucks. So that's like 10 bucks above retail. And this pink little bag has been staring at me for days, and I'm just like, Ugh, I don't want to open it. <laughs> but uh, let's see what's inside. Seems like an Alpha Team set. I looks at it. I don't know. Oh my, for something that is packaged in kind of a weird packaging, the package is pretty protected. I don't know if I can get in there. But this is a deep sea scooter or something like that. This was one that I found relatively cheap and I hadn't seen it listed before, so it was just like, okay, I don't own it. I don't own that figure either and I like his face print. So I ended up buying it. So we got less than 10 packages left and they all are, I guess, on the bigger size for the most part, I'm just looking at them. This one, first of which. Okay, here it should be. And I'm not recognizing it right away. Oh yeah, okay, this one, huh. I guess I just threw this in, but I don't think this is from the same time. This is a pretty interesting one. <laughs> it's another Alpha Team set. And from my understanding, this is an open box, but sealed contents. Let's see if that's right. All right. Seems like it, and I was really worried about the base plate, but the base plate seems like it's in very good condition, if not unused. So this one cost me, I think, like a flat 98 bucks. Like, Almost a hundred. I think it originally retailed for a hundred, so pretty good deal. I mean, this goes for a little bit more sealed, but uh, it's a theme that I don't really care about the Alpha Team like deep freeze mission, but I love this playset. I remember this playset when I was younger. One of my friends had it, so I kind of really want to take a second look at it. Next package. It's one of these big boys. Inside. It's under all this wrapping, but I could I could pull it out. Let's see. Oh shoot, Harry Potter set. I think this was from Australia specifically, but this is the Prisoner of Azkaban Hogwarts train. And I think I only paid around a hundred dollars for this, and this was a couple months back. I've had this sealed for a while, but it usually goes for like 150, 200, so I made out pretty good. And I have the 2001 version and the 2004 version. Not the 2010 version, but then the 2018 version. So I guess I almost have all the Hogwarts Expresses. Though I have to say, the Prisoner of Azkaban one, there's also like a plug-in electronic one. That's not this version, and that one is much more expensive sealed. All right, next set. Let's see what's inside. On the inside. Huh. Nothing. All right, well. Uh -huh. The Lego poly bag. 
This one is a Pirates one from the 90s, and I, I got some of these other 90s polybags for Pirates, but not this particular one. I think I saw this for like 30 bucks or less, and it was around the same time I built Pirates Bay, so I was like, I want more Pirates. Let me buy this. <laughs> Next package, let's see what's inside. And I think there's less big packages than I imagine, because there's really packages this size and one more big one, or it's a little bit bigger than this size which was covering up Pharaoh's Quest uh, little figure pack. Maybe this is what I was thinking about when I was thinking about the magnets, but I remember I paid like around 20 bucks for this at most, which was fairly cheap. And it was just a listing I saw for a little bit and I was like, well, I haven't taken a look at Pharaoh's Quest in a bit. Let's check out this minifigure blister. Next box. And this is one of those easier to open priority mail things I just love ripping. It's an Ninjago set. This is uh, Knuckles ATV. Just like the emergency room in that regard, uh, this is one of those that was ridiculously discounted on Shop at Home. I remember they were selling this for like 10 bucks at one point. <laughs> I ended up paying, I don't know, like 30 to 40 dollars, so it is a little bit more expensive secondhand nowadays. And we're going on to, I think, our last three boxes, so I'm still not quite sure which one set it is. Oh, it is the Sith Night Speeder. So the Sith Night Speeder is a Clone Wars set. I don't know, I've been trying to get a little bit more of these cheaper Clone Wars sets that have interesting figures to me, because the Clone Wars line, I never liked the facial designs, but a lot of the aliens have kind of cool designs. And this was one that I think was like, what, 30 bucks on eBay? Very funny though, because look, it says, as is, this guy paid three bucks. And this usually went for 20 to 25. So if anybody made out like a bandit, it's him. Second to last package. This one's actually sealed pretty well, even though it is one of those easier to open priority mail ones. So I'm just taking random jabs at this point. <laughs> but I ripped it, didn't get to see which one it is. And still not sure which set this is. Whoops. Hmm. Oh, it's a Star Wars set. Huh, I wasn't aware that this was such a small box. I mean, it's equivalent to basically a $20 box as nowadays. I paid like 70 bucks for this Jedi Star Raider. <laughs> I don't know, I never had this older style of Obi-Wan in particular, so I really kind of wanted to get it. And I'm trying to get some more older Star Wars sets, so this just fit the book. And this is it. Last box. This isn't even as big as I anticipated. But we've opened up so many great sets. I mean, it's hard for this one to disappoint. Okay. This should work. And inside, the Lego Prince of Persia set. Oh yeah, I did order this. This is a Quest Against Time, which I think I paid like, I don't know, 30 bucks for. This went for 50 bucks back in the day. I always like this set because it's like a platformer almost. I mean, the Prince of Persia game is a platformer, but this in particular, has a lot of platforming elements, and I didn't get that figure before. I think it only comes in the two bigger Prince of Persia sets, which this is my first of those two bigger ones. So yeah, this is gonna be pretty interesting to review. I love reviewing these random one-off themes, and there's Jake Gyllenhaal's head right there. <laughs> this is the haul altogether. Uh, definitely a slant towards more recent stuff with the Lego Movie 1 and 2 sets, the Hobbit, the Lego Batman movie stuff. Lots of stuff I could have got on clearance too, like a Lone Ranger set right there uh, that I wanted for a while. Some repeats of stuff I already own, like the Barrel Escape and some of the Orient Expedition stuff, but uh, some fantastic sets as well with the Rocket Ride here. So that completes the SpongeBob collection, honestly. Now officially own every SpongeBob set. And this Forest Man one all the way down here, which I paid pretty darn cheap for sealed. That's going to be really fun to display with some other older castle. Some other great stuff include the Alpha Team base and that Lego Ninja, or both Lego Ninja sets, which I did pretty good on, but especially that play set, which is going to be a really fun one to build and display next to some of my other Lego Ninja play sets, which I do have quite a few of those as well. But either way, that is it for this haul. I need to know from you guys, what should I review out of these? Which ones would you guys want to see me review the most? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.